Whoa. So much for the introductory music there. Welcome to My Sports Reports, where we celebrate the positive achievements of amateur athletes from all across the country. My name is Marshall Manlove, and this is an episode of Amateur Sports Milestones. I really should have a talking to with the uh, person who pushes the buttons behind the scenes over there. It's me. <laughs> Let's start in Michigan, shall we? Jessica LeBeau from the University of Michigan recorded her 500th career strikeout for the Wolverines softball team. Yeah. <laughs> to Kentucky now. Johnny Crush from the St. Xavier High School swimming team in Louisville broke two state records at the state championships. He broke his own record set in the preliminaries with a time of 42.70. And the 100 backstroke with a time of 45.70, lowering his own record set last year. He helped lead the Tigers to their 36th straight state championship. That first record was the 100 free. 36 straight state championships down there. That's amazing. I've had a talk with the coach. We're going to try to bring him on and some of his swimmers, hopefully sometime next week to Pennsylvania. Lucy Olson was the 31st player in Villanova women's basketball history to reach the 1,000 point mark for her career. The milestone points came against Xavier. Not St. Xavier. They swim. Xavier, the basketball team. Okay, so it wasn't plainly obvious. Staying in Pennsylvania at the collegiate level, Steve Settle from Temple University scored the 1,000th point of his career with the Owls men's basketball team. Set out to the western part of the state of Pennsylvania now. The team of E.J. Jamin, Rock Heyman, Rocco Solomeo, Adam Dots, and Hunter McMullen comprised the Penn State Altoona 200 medley relay team, which broke the school record with a time of 136.08. Down to Florida. Josh Liendo from the University of Florida broke the SEC championship record in the 100 butterfly with a time of 43.89. This is brought to you by me, Marshall Manlove, stage hypnotist. If you would like a funny, fascinating, and memorable experience for a party or an event that you're having, please consider my stage hypnosis show. You can find out all about it at marshallmanlove.com. Travel all around the country to do those shows. I talk about athletes from all around the country as well. Now let's go to Virginia. At the ACC Championships, the UVA Distance Medley Relay Team of Margot Appleton, Maggie Hawk, Alana Sabakan and Anna Workman broke the school record in their event with a time of 10.50.58. To New Jersey, Taylor Durkak from Colonia High School became the basketball team's first ever 2,000-point scorer. She's the ninth player in Middlesex County history to reach this milestone. To South Carolina now, Riley Lingerfelt from Converse University threw a no-hitter against Allen University. She whipped 18 hitters out of the 21 possible outs. This was a new school record, which she just set on opening day when she struck out 11 and follows a five-inning perfect game against Shaw University, which was the first perfect game in the Valkyries softball program history. To North Carolina, for a few here, there was a good recruiting class somewhere over these last few years at Davidson College. The 400 freestyle relay team of Dylan Belt, Ben McLean, Mitch McLean, and Gil Ware set a program mark with a time of 257.23. Also from Davidson, Andrew Shu broke his own school record in the 200 breaststroke with a time of 158.73. Also from Davidson, Dylan Belt set the A-10 record in the 1650 free with a time of 1455.89, breaking the record he set last year. And on the way, he also set a school mark in the 1000 free with a time of 904.94. Let's stay in North Carolina, shall we? Zane Butt from Davidson broke the school record in the 100 IM with a time of 50.08. Also, from Davidson, I told you, they just had a big week. Their 400 medley relay team of Liam McDonough, Andrew Shue, Zane Button, Dylan Felt set a new program record 
of 314.61. The women got into the action as well. The 400 medley relay team of Leah Sandock, Anna Newman, Chalet, Jackson, Addy Donaldson has set a Davidson record with a time of 340.72. Also from Davidson, Leah Sandock set a new record in the 100 backstroke, which she broke two other times this past week with a mark of 54.39. And from the diving team, Ben Cutforth broke the Davidson College three meter diving record with a score of 345.35. To Virginia, remember this name, the Olympic trials coming up. Gretchen Walsh from the University of Virginia set a new NCAA and American record in the 100 butterfly with a time of 48.25. Out west to Colorado now. Aaron Cabaness from the University of Northern Colorado threw the first perfect game in the softball program's Division I era. It came against UC Santa Barbara. She struck out eight in the game. To New York. Here's a unique game. I don't believe I can remember hearing somebody actually pulling off this feat. So I wanted to include it here today. Kiana Christmas from Fonda Fultonville High School recorded a quintuple double statistical performance in a basketball game against Notre Dame Bishop Gibbons back in December. She scored 11 points, had 20 rebounds, 11 assists, 10 steals, and 10 blocks in one game. You hear double-double all the time. Triple-double, everybody goes nuts. Quadruple-double, like, oh, i never heard of that before. And you've never heard of that before. I think that's all you can do. That's the only five statistical categories and double in each of them. Fantastic. Out west of Idaho. Love it out there. Kendall Martin from the Idaho State University track and field team broke the school record in the 60-meter hurdles with a time of 8.28 on her way to becoming the Big Sky champion in the event. Back to the East Coast and South to North Carolina. Freshman Hannah Lyrer from Campbell University threw a perfect game and a 3 to nothing win over Winthrop College for the Camels. To Tennessee, Faith Nelson from Vanderbilt University broke the school record in the women's 100 breaststroke with a time of 1 minute, 0.74 seconds. And to Missouri, Mara Titarsole from the University of Missouri's gymnastics team scored a perfect 10 on the uneven bars in a recent competition. It was the first perfect score in the program's history in the event. Congratulations to all those who reached some sort of milestone that we talked about and celebrated here on this episode of Amateur Sports Milestones. If you have a milestone such as these or, of course, from any other sport and you would like to have us help you celebrate it, just submit them to us at mysportsreports at gmail.com. To submit it, picture, candid, action, headshot, doesn't matter what the event was, the state, the school, and the particular milestone. And we will happily celebrate that with you or your teammates or those who you coach or what have you. So it's my sports reports at gmail.com. Let's see. Please help support the show simply by subscribing or liking. You know what everybody talks about. I don't even know why I just said it because it's also scrolling across the bottom of the screen. I am Marshall Manlove and now from the home studio in Middletown, Delaware, I wish you farewell. I'm out. Whoever that dude it is, dude is who is helping with the music today. He's getting an official reprimand in his file folder. Ends early, starts late.